Good morning, Lacta Flambeau Library team. This video is going to walk you through how to add a blog post to your home page. What am I talking about? This right here is a blog post area on your website. So when you sign into your website, you'll be taken to what I call the dashboard. Dashboard. And from here, you can get to the front side if you would like by clicking on the library name. Up here it says Ben Guthrie. Now, you don't even need to go to the, home, the front of your website to add a blog post. To add a blog post, hover over New. Click on Post. And it'll take you to a, a content area. And just like it says, add a title. So I'm going to add a title, test blog post. <clears throat> and then this is where you would put all the information you want to share. So let's say uh, I'm just going to take, I'm just going to take content from your community gardens blog post and plug it in there. So I'm going to copy all that information. Okay. So I've added my text title and then I, I, I clicked in here and I typed everything I wanted to type, right? For our content in here. On the right hand side, under categories, find where it says home page. Boop. Then find featured image. Here's where you can get creative. You can take a picture or find a picture, a free, uh, copyright free picture, um, and upload it into your media library. So you click on upload and then find it wherever you've placed it on your computer. I'm just going to grab a picture off of my desktop. Hopefully we have a few pictures in here. I'll choose this Eric Carl tribute. So I've uploaded a picture and I've saved it here. Now we really should be paying attention to the size of a file. Uh, but to get started, just remember that you need to choose a JPEG file for the best effect on your website. And just know that you should put alternative text here unless there alternative text meaning if there's any wording or information on your image it should also go in the alternative text field so let's say that we're putting a post in there for a new hour time program that you have coming up this is the picture that we'll use and you'll notice in the alternative text area I have our time there's no other information in there and that's okay because the blog post has all the information they're going to need. So back to our test blog post. Um, I just chose an Eric Carl picture. I'm not going to put an alternative text in here, but I should put all of the information that's on an image in alternative text and then choose set featured image. So we added a title. We added our content, whatever information we wanted to share. We chose home page and then we chose a featured image. Now what we need to do is click on publish. So let's go to our home page on the front side by clicking on our library name. That's what brings us to the front and to the back. So if I'm on the front, I click on Ben Guthrie. It takes me to the back. If I'm on the back side, I click on Ben Guthrie and it takes me to the front side. And here's our test blog post. Isn't it beautiful with our Eric Carl picture in the background? We have a, a read more button. So I'm going to click on read more. And here's our blog post with all of our sample information in there. On the right hand side, you can see we have an area for recent posts. I'll get rid of this comments area. We don't do comments on here. So <clears throat> that's how you create a new blog post. I'll go through it quickly one more time at the end. But I do want to show you on the left hand side, 
when you when you sign into your website, it'll bring you to the dashboard. And if you want to see all of your blog posts, on the left hand side, you can find the word posts and click on it. Here's our test blog post. Here's the community gardens post. Here's the Ojibwe language class post and play group. Um, if you ever want to remove a blog post from your website, so let's say that you had a blog post saying we are closed on January 1st and that New Year's passes and then you want to remove it. So to remove a blog post from your home page, you simply need to remove this category. Notice this one is uncategorized. So that's what we're going to do to this test blog post. We're going to choose edit. And then on the right hand side, you just remove the home page category and add uncategorized. I'm going to click update. If I click back into my posts, I can see that I have removed it from the home page area. And when I click on the Ben Guthrie name, all we see is that beautiful, wonderful, awesome announcement about the Grant Community Gardens and not our test post. Okay, really quickly, when you sign in, you're taken to the, da the dashboard page. To create a new post, you go up to New, and then you choose Post. Add in your title, add in your content, choose home page in the categories area, and then add an image. I really think that original photography works best. So taking pictures of your actual library space or maybe of your elder who's giving the language class, um, if they're comfortable with it, um, those kind of things really make a big impact. And once you choose your image, you can click set featured image and then publish. But I'm not going to do that right now with this post. Okay, please let me know if you have any questions.